Football Manager 2025 was delayed until March. Wow, I cannot wait that long, so I made my own football management game in Excel instead. Welcome to the wonderful world of spreadsheets. This is a spreadsheet simulator the way it should be. We enter the game here on the Game Hub tab, effectively your home screen, where you can see that I'm managing Manchester United. Why? Well, because I like pain. We are most of the way through the season and I have adopted a 4-5-1 formation to try to get our best players on the park. You can see that we're currently sitting in 5th position with a few games left in the season, with our next one away to Leicester. Our last game was a 2-0 home victory against Everton. We haven't been so lucky in the Cups, going out in the round of 32 and round of 16 respectively. Let's go through the basics of a match week to show you some of the key features of the game I've put together. First up is the selection and tactics screen. Here we can see the 10 player attributes for the first time. What I most like about this screen, it ranks our players within our own team by their total attack, midfield, defense, and goalkeeping attributes on the far right hand side. As you scroll down to the bottom of this tab, you can see the formation that I have picked, the starting players and bench players that I have selected. By changing the formation, you can see how the distribution of our skills impact our team's match stats across attack, midfield, and defense. Next up, we have training. The development system in this game takes into consideration one attribute for focus per game week, and depending on the player's squad status, being that of a starter, a substitute, or a reserve, your development in these players will change. Starters develop the quickest, with reserves developing the slowest. So you need to balance out which players play for their development and which players play to get the best players on the park to win. Next up we have the team search tab, where we can look at our competitors to see their strengths and weaknesses across the same 10 attributes. So why don't we check out our next opponent, Leicester. Then we have the player search tab, which contains the game's transfer system. This transfer system works very much as a player swap, where within the transfer window you can exchange players with another team based on if our player's valuation is greater than the valuation of the opposition AI. Again, this can only be done during a transfer window. Then we can look at the League Fixtures tab, which as the name suggests, this contains all the fixtures and results played so far. Here you can see all the matches played across the English League system, what matches are coming up, and the results for these matches. As you can see, it's quite complicated and busy on this screen, so take your time to look it through. Then we have the League Tables tab, which shows you how all the leagues are shaping up across the entire English professional pyramid. As this is the pointy end of the season, promotion and relegation spots are really heating up in their competition. Then we have the cup fixtures. In this Excel football management game, we have two altered cup competitions, our own FA Cup and our own EFL Cup. In this universe, Burnley of all teams took home the EFL Cup, with Tottenham the remaining favorite for the FA Cup. The last feature is the player release and youth recruitment. At the end of the season, you can release up to five unwanted players with the AI also doing the same. You will then get up to three random youth players, all depending how many spots in the team you have, as will all the AI teams, so that fresh players are constantly being introduced into the game. Next, we're gonna talk through the game design and its fundamentals. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this game. If you like what I'm doing here, please consider liking this video and subscribing. Game design, putting together this game, I created a list of must-haves and nice-to-haves. Effectively, what are the non negotiables. We got to remember I'm just one man in this journey, so getting this far I am very proud of. What you will see from this list here is there are a couple of things missing. The big two being injuries and a proper transfer contract economy. The issues with injuries wasn't the injuries themselves, but having the code or logic for the AI to deal with them was not something that I could get my head around. With the transfer player economy, to be frank, I just had no idea where to get started. That being said, I think we're left with something pretty cool. Personally, I can't wait for FM25 to actually come out. A brave new world that we're entering into with Unity and graphics. How exciting. But in the meantime, why not play a true spreadsheet simulator, which is available to download from my blog in the link in the description. What are we left with? This is the overview of the game elements. There's 5,000 starting players, approximately 600 new youth players added in every season. There's four playable English leagues with promotion and relegation, and two complete and competitive cup competitions. There's five non-playable leagues with players and AI strategy. There's a transfer system with market valuations, and there's a training and player development system. There's quite a complex engine sitting behind everything that you can see here so far. The game should have integrity for about 25 seasons with a single club, which in my opinion is plenty of time for you to become a dominant force. Let's talk match engine. The match results in this game are generated using a random normal distribution of results, which effectively means if two teams are equal in strength, the most common outcome will likely be a draw. Results, however, are skewed 
from this random normal distribution due to two things. The first thing being a home advantage driving a small skew towards the home team, and the second being the relative strength of the tactics that you've selected and the squad you've selected, or the general strength of your squad in general, which is the biggest area where your management decisions will impact. There are a couple of changes from the game that I've created from real life football. These things are in the form of cup draws and results, which are adjusted to only include the four professional leagues in English football. This means that the draw works differently than in real life. The first round is for League 2 teams only. League 1 teams then join the second round with four teams getting buys, before the Premier League and Championship teams join in the third round. Instead of playing extra time and penalties, in the case of a draw, the away team is awarded the victory. There are no neutral ties, so every game is drawn as a home away fixture, including the finals. For promotion and relegation, there are no promotion playoffs. Instead, the spots are allocated to the next best team, i.e. in the championship, the third place team in the league are promoted to the Premier League. The number of teams promoted and relegated is the same as real life. However, this is all based on the finishing positions within the league structure. Under the hood, I'm talking Excel, VBA, macros, and formula. This game is made entirely via a combination of Excel, VBA, and formulas. I have kept the Excel unlocked and open with all 25 macro modules open for you to see at your own leisure. The idea here is I wanted you to know exactly what the code was doing behind the scenes, but also so that you can expand on the game if you should choose. Tomorrow I'm going to release a first season playthrough and tutorial on how each element of this game holds together, so stay tuned for that. While you're here, why not check out some of the other games I've made? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.